Hey guys, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a very happy and productive week and that you guys are getting ready for going back to school. But just in case you're not, today's video is going to include 10 ways to get ready for back to school like a boss. So I know you guys loved my how to prepare for exams like a boss video, so I thought I would make another one of those kinds of videos, but dedicate it to the back to school season. Also, if you guys haven't already entered my back to school supplies giveaway, there is a huge stationery supplies haul and giveaway happening on this channel. So I'm going to leave it as a link down below. You should definitely go enter because you could win some awesome prizes that are going to make going back to school so much more enjoyable. Also, don't forget to check out my second channel, Life with Jess, because I am vlogging quite regularly and I don't want you guys to miss out on all of those videos too. Alright, let's get straight into today's video, so I hope it motivates and inspires you to get ready for back to school. Now, my first tip for getting ready for back to school is to set aside an afternoon to reflect on the year that was. So have a think about what sort of things you accomplished last year in school or what kind of things could you have done better. This is a really great exercise to get you thinking about how you might want to tackle this school year and do it differently. The second tip is to set yourself some goals for the school year ahead so that it can motivate you and give you something to look forward to. Think about the sort of things that you want to achieve moving forward and make sure that you write these down and display them on your vision board or somewhere that you're going to see very regularly. So be very specific with your goal setting and make sure you actually break them down into sub goals and then don't forget to also schedule them and write down when you aim to achieve these by in your diary or your planner. The next tip is to work on your physical and mental fitness so you can perform at your absolute best throughout the school year. So I know how much you guys love my app recommendations so I thought I'd share one that I found called Lifesum and it'll help you put this tip into practice so I'll also link it down below because I definitely recommend you go download it before school starts. So Lifesum tracks your healthy habits and helps you to eat better, get fitter and make healthier decisions overall so you can perform at your best. And at the moment I've actually been using it to log my meals and my workouts and just track my health progress. And one of the things I really like about this app is the water and fruit and veggie tracker because sometimes you sort of forget to drink enough or you skip meals because you're really busy and you don't really prioritize it. But I find that when I actually track my behaviours, I'm more mindful of them and I make more of an effort to drink more and eat healthier too. Also, before I forget, when you first start using the app, you can take a life test score. And don't worry guys, it's a fun test, I promise. It's a health test which can give you a quick overview of your lifestyle and your habits when it comes to food and exercise. And then your results will help guide you in making healthier decisions and habits so you can actually reach your goals and be feeling healthy, focused and energised for the busy school year ahead. Tip 4 is a little hack, which is to write down your favourite inspirational quotes throughout your notebooks. So you guys know I'm all about spreading that study inspiration, so I really like this tip because every time you open your notebook you might stumble upon one of your quotes and it'll just help to boost your mood and make you feel more inspired to work. Now you've probably heard me say on my channel before how important it is to establish a healthy morning routine, so the next tip is to do exactly that. Make sure you get into the habit early on to wake up at the same time and spend the first 30 minutes of your school mornings easing into your day by having a cup of tea, maybe you want to do some meditation, plan your goals for the day and even fit in some time to exercise even for just 10 or 15 minutes and it'll just help to get the blood pumping and get you feeling more energised for the day ahead. Tip number six is one of my favourites because it's all about having the right kind of mindset and it's to block out the haters and think about the positives. So I'm really encouraging you guys this year to make a conscious effort to tune into all the good things around you, such as your friends and your achievements, and tune out all those negative comments. So remember, you can't control other people and whatever others think of you is none of your business. You're amazing just as you are, so be confident and just be yourself this school year. Tip number seven is to declutter your room and your study in advance, because a clean and clear environment makes for a clean and clear mind. And that means setting aside some time to reorganize your bedroom, tidy up your desk and declutter it, make sure that everything has its own place and that there's nothing lying around that's going to distract you when you do come home to do your homework. The next tip is all about food, which is to stock up on supplies. Well, food and a few other essentials. So stock up on a couple of different things that you want to be keeping in your locker, just in case you might need them one afternoon. So make sure to purchase the essential items you want to keep in your locker so you can have them handy all year round. So this is something I did when I was in school. So I used to get snacks that wouldn't really perish very quickly, such as muesli bars, because they're great for storing in your locker. 
along with a couple of juice boxes. And also keep a spare makeup bag handy and fill it with the necessary items such as band-aids, hand sanitizer, tissues, and any female hygiene products you might need. This next tip is going to help make studying a whole lot easier and make you more productive, which is to create the ideal study schedule early on. Try and get into the habit of writing down and scheduling your homework in your diary in blocks and making little study appointments. Also, making it a priority to review your notes each week and create weekly summaries is really important and handy so that you avoid that last minute cramming for your exams and tests later on in the year as well. And tip number 10 is a yummy tip. It's to plan your meals in advance so that you don't end up rushing in the morning or forgetting to bring your lunch to school. And if you guys are looking for some food inspo and meal ideas, then Lifesum also has a range of healthy recipes and it actually can suggest different recipes based on how you're tracking each day, which is really cool. So there's easy and quick recipes for brekkie, lunch, dinner, and also snacks. So you don't need to worry when you come home from school starving and otherwise would have been reaching for something really unhealthy. Also, as I say guys, food is fuel. So whatever you put into your buddies is going to make a difference to your focus and your concentration. So thumbs up this video if you guys enjoyed my 10 ways for getting ready for back to school like a bus. I love doing that. Also, I'll leave a link to the Lifesum app I mentioned down below in the description box. So do go check it out and download it for free. And don't forget to enter my massive back to school supplies giveaway. I will leave that as a clickable thumbnail over here. I hope you have an awesome week guys and that you're all feeling more motivated and inspired for back to school. And I'm going to have another video up very shortly. Bye guys.